All right, guys. So today what I'm doing is unboxing this rear view backup camera. I'm installing this in my bus that I have been in the process of converting into an RV. I'll be moving soon. So I wanted to have this in there while I am on my trip because that would not be fun to not have it. I'm going to be towing a car behind me. And so I feel that this is really a necessity. Um, so I'll show you what it came with. This should have two cameras in it. We'll see once we open it up and find out what all it comes with. So I'll put a link to this backup camera kit in the description. It can be used as either a, a monitor or a backup camera. So it looks like we've got some little instructions here. Just an overview of what's in the kit. I left my sink and tripod in the car that is not here, so... Sorry for the shakiness. I actually did get a tripod. I'm not using it. But there's a set of instructions. Let me see if I can maybe get a little bit closer shot. I don't know if it'll focus very well or not. Just so that you guys can... Kind of see it. If you want to pause the video to read the instructions, then you can. And I have some wonderful kids that will, I'm sure, be making some background noise. It's just part of it. So, that's alright. Alright, now what's in the box? Looks like this is going to be the monitor in this big box, and then we've got some other cables and stuff show you what's back there these look like the uh, power and grounding cables that will install for the camera and most likely for the monitor itself too looks like there's two of those because there's two that tells me it's probably for the cameras themselves I might be wrong though Here's a mounting bracket for one of the cameras. Okay. So, we've got two mounting brackets. The Both sets are in here that go with each of these. We've got, this should be about 10 meters worth of cable right here. Um, so it should be about 30 feet worth of cable. It's basically just RCA cable, it looks like. And that's what you'll run from the camera over to the monitor. So I'll put that there. I'll set this stuff over here too, just to kind of keep it organized. All right. Looks like another set of cables. Cool. It's nice. Now, we've got our monitor. Looks like there's a little booklet on it for the user manual. Let's see if we can keep that open. Shows you some specs and functionalities. Kind of lets you know how it works. And that's what we got there. Alright. So now... Looks like in here is the monitor. And I bet you underneath I'm going to do this right in here. I bet you underneath in the box is the mounting hardware for it. So there's our monitor. I hope it's not that glossy. We'll see. I don't know if it looks like that might be something to protect the screen a little, but I sure hope it's not that glossy. It is. I, I hate glossy things. They glare so bad. So 
But if it is a well, I'll just deal with it. All right, so even more cables that come with the monitor. There we go, there's an RCA. This one for sure connects into the monitor. It's our RCA cable. And it looks like some power and grounding cables as well that are in there. So that's yellow, which tells me it's for the video feed. This right here is the switch for the backup camera. And the camera, it looks like it has a cigarette lighter. So, um, I believe that this right here is a switch that activates the backup camera and it also turns on the lights for the LEDs that are on the cameras. So that's going to be a camera in that package. Let's see if we can take it out. These are supposed to be waterproof cameras. There we go. Take a look at that. Can we see it very well? There we go. It's a pretty good view. And that sits right in those brackets right over here. It's got the two cables, one video feed, and probably the other one is the other one is probably a power. Alright, and we've got another one right here. The same exact thing, because this was a dual camera kit. I'm using one for my reverse camera, or my rear view mirror basically. And then the other one is for the passenger side view of the bus, because that's a side that I can't have as good visibility on. Alright, so there we go, the same exact thing there. And then it looks like we have our mounting bracket, there's some mounting screws, and then the mounting pad which has the stickiness, sticky sides and stuff on it. I don't know if you guys care to see what, what it looks like opened. So let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay. I believe this kit was like 78 bucks or something, 80 bucks for both cameras. So that's what it looks like, the mounting bracket. And yeah, that's what comes in this kit for this backup camera slash monitor that I'll be installing in the bus. So I wanted to share that with you guys just so you can have a good overview of what all this comes with. Um, and then I'll go over the install and what it looks like once it's done. This is just some extra stuff. I've got some extra cable and stuff just in case this stuff wasn't long enough. But all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will do another video on this in the future and have a good one.